Dude, I'm legit scared. Oh, spider here! Nice, good, good. Get in the spider, get in the bull. Ah! 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 Dude, kick That's it! No! What is up, guys? Today, we are gonna be doing the $10 versus $1,000 Apocalypse Tree Fort Survival Challenge! So we're each gonna be spinning this wheel. Each has a different dollar value, ranging from 10 to $1,000. Whatever money value you get, you have that much money to go to Home Depot, to go to Walmart, to go over to the whatever store you want and get items to build an epic tree fort. So there are gonna be three judgment factors. You can earn up to three points. The first one is aesthetic. Second one is cozy. Third one is highest up in the tree. So whoever has the most points is gonna have the coolest fort. So let's uh, get spinning here and see how much our budget is for our fort. Hey Rob, come over here, bro. Come spin the wheel. Oh, I thought he was way across the yard. I really hope I don't get a thousand dollars again. Dude, that would be a bummer. Ooh, 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 ooh. $250. That's Dang. a pretty good budget that's, there. That's a Honestly, hefty budget. That's not bad. Right, right there. there. Chris is next. Thousand dollars. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ten dollars. He gets ten dollars oh, again. No. Dude, guys. Chris gets ten dollars Chris's again. Chris's last value is ten dollars. Ah. Hey, Ow. Hey, hey, stop it. Ow. Okay, well, Chris gets ten dollars. Wow. All right, let's let's see what I get. Jeez. Come on, baby. Come on. Huh? Oh. Oh. No! Oh, dude! This will be easy to get and I'll make my four epic. I'm actually really excited for this. I'm really upset because I got $10 last time. You, Chris, that is a rip in the chat. Chris, oh, that, how am I supposed to build a tree fort with $10? Chris, I'm gonna fall off. I'm gonna give you a deal. If you go put dirt on your head from the hill, you can respin. He's actually. He's gonna it. do it. You gotta put a whole handful of dirt on your head. Oh. Oh, okay. Well. I guess he can respin then. Chris, there's a spider in here. Oh, spider in here. No, it's, 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 it's spider, get in the pool. pool. There's one in your head. It's on your head. Let's see what Chris gets. Oh. Oh. Dude. Two $1,000. Oh my gosh. We about to get dangy. Let's go. So we are at Home Depot first because we got to build the structure before we get all the decorations. True. I don't even know what you said. I said uh, I was gonna slap you. Do it again. 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 My first item are these wooden dowels. I'm actually gonna be using these to build a ladder. It's gonna go up the tree because I wanna get the high point. I'm gonna make mine as high as I can. It's also gonna be a little dangy and scary, so hopefully we don't die. That's a good idea. I wasn't even thinking that I need a ladder. Okay, now I know. That's a good point. Stop it. Good point. So now I'm gonna go find a rope because rope is good. We also need some screws. Put our fort together. Should work. Since I haven't really been filming much lately, uh, this is what I got. I got some three by three. I don't even know how long these are, but they're three by three. Look about eight feet. And I got some two by four by eight. Here, I got some rope, a tarp, welcome mat, and then a rug. So we're gonna go to Walmart and finish the rest of our item list. So we're all done at Home Depot. Jeffrey's not gonna be in the video today because he's not feeling that good. We just wanna play it safe because of, you know, what's going on. So I actually took his cart because he had a lot more stuff than I did. And I also added some of my stuff in there. And then Rob got this cart. I spent 160 total. So we're gonna head to Walmart and then finish getting decorated for supplies. And I spent $300 total. So I still have $700 left. Dude, I legit hit my mark right on the money. All this just cost like 70 bucks and that's what I needed. So I was able to get a ton of stuff because I had $700 left over. So I got some really cool stuff. It's gonna be a long day of building. Yep. I think we should find one tree and we should build both of our forts on the same tree. That'd be cool. So? Yeah. Two story fort? Yeah, two story tree fort. Let's do this. Hey, uh, so my truck's not four by four. Uh, we seem to have a problem. What's the problem? Uh, I'm not moving. Uh, you are a little bit. Like stuck, but not stuck. You stopped in the worst spot. We're never getting out of that. Let's see this tree. Oh, Whoa. shoot. Is that an owl or a hawk? Oh, those are That's hawks. a hawk. I kind of want to build on this tree. All right, well, let's get building. So these, this is my, my chairs and my little hangout area that I'm going to build. I'm going to put my stuff in this pile right here. No touchy, Rob. We got some wood here. Going to pull it out, build stuff, and then boom, right on. First thing I gotta do is use this here grappling hook to establish this here rope up on that tree so that I don't fall. Nope. That was amazing. Yeah. All right, so we will be able to uh, make our way up this tree. Oh, 
These are my materials. I have four three by three. I believe they're eight foot posts. So these are going to be my base posts. It's going to go four on each side. And then we have nine two by four by eights. We're going to saw in half each and every one to make 18. Oh, wait. Something like that to go as the planks. And then I have this tarp in the truck that I'm going to put over my thing to make a roof. Yeah, we have screws, we have drills and all that fun stuff. So we're going to be putting the first piece up. So this is about as high as it's going to get. I wish it kind of went higher. I could build higher than that. You know what? I have no clue what I'm doing here. I have actually no idea. I need some time to think. Eventually. So guys, I'm going to have a very awesome system to help me get up the tree. Since I had $1,000, I'm going to put in a, an elevator on this tree. I spent all the money on the elevator, so that might be bad. I'm just kidding. I'm building a like a little uh, stair system with two by fours. So we're going to go like this. And make sure it's nice and strong on there. Dude, that's solid. Uh, when I get higher up, I'll put more screws in. <laughs> we're making our way up. Making our way up. We're gonna make a tree fort. Da -na 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 -na. Let's attempt to climb up. That way I can see if I picked good real estate. Pretty solid foundation, but this branch is kind of in the way. So we're up in a tree right now. Kind of thinking, cause I, I'm trying to think if I should take out this branch right here, but it actually offers like a really good grip hold for like if I try to, or like when I'm climbing up here. But you can see it's just like really in the way of everything here. Okay, as much as I like this branch, I think I'm gonna have to chop it down. How big is this branch? It's kind of an awkward angle. I gotta use my left hand, but we'll try and give it a shot. It feels so awkward like this. This is such a hard angle. All right, so we got that big branch out of the way. All right, so I've never actually built a tree fort before, like an actual tree fort, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think the next step would be to make a the frame, the first platform, and we'll put it up there, put some supports on it, make sure it's nice and sturdy, and then we'll put planks over the top to make to finish off the platform. Our fort is underway, Chris. Dude, these are so heavy. Basically what we have here is a little suspension, right? This is how tall my fort's gonna be off the ground. I bought a tarp, which I'm gonna put over um, the whole thing. So it's like oh. a little roof. So it's nice, it's like a, it's like an actual tree fort. Is that level? Go up more, up more, right there. Uno mas, good. Uh, the sound travels along the wood directly into my ear. Up, 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 there we go. No! 66. Pull it in one inch towards me. More, 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 how this holds. Oh my, this is so scary, dude. So far it's doing a good job at holding. What if I shake it? Don't. I don't know if there should be this much weight on it. I'm it's, in danger. It's fine. This is kind of cool. You got like the bottom floor under here. You got the top floor. Dude, I'm actually liking this a lot. For $250. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna build this leading up to this point. You know, I'm happy with the, with the result. Just reinforcing my stuff so I don't die. Hey Ryan, are you able to pass me that frame? Yeah. Okay, so we are up in the tree again, and I have this big platform that I'm trying, oh, it's trying to put up here. We need to make this oh my gosh. level, but I have no idea how, because one tree branch just goes like way up like that. I mean, to be honest, I don't mind if it was a little bit of a slanted platform, you know? Like a giant slide out of a deathly tree. So, so you know, that's not a, it's not a big deal, right? Giant slide out of a deathly tree. This thing is really sketchy. It's like a big death trap at any moment I could just fall. But we got some decorations and we're gonna uh, lay up here and then we got a tarp that we're putting over and it's good to go. How do I get down from here? <laughs> well, we're just gonna keep adding supports. This is gonna be the sketchiest tree fort ever Dude. made. Dude. That is the sketchiest piece of wood I've ever put in. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> what? Do I even build things for a living? What are you thinking? How the heck do people build tree forts? It's pretty solid at the moment. I'm gonna trust my structure. Do you guys think I should? No. Yeah. Hey Rob, can you pass me another drill? Cause this bit is all screwed up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
So we have, I think, three pretty good supports. Um, you can see that this one is resting on the tree. That one is as well, so the weight is gonna be transferred into the tree, and then that one over there. This one, however, is on the side. I don't know how strong this is. I think I need to get one more support way over there, and then once we do that, maybe it's strong enough. Dude, I don't even know how to test this. Go ahead, ready? I mean, oh gosh. Chris, how does it feel up there? It's really sketchy. How does it feel to be safe on the ground? Normal. Oh. Pretty set. It actually feels really solid, but I still don't trust it. So we're gonna put some supports underneath and uh, hope it helps. This is starting to look like a pretty legit tree fort. Definitely don't try this at home. And I also can tell you one thing, I will not be building a tree fort when I have dangy babies because I don't trust it. All right. That's solid. How do you test this? Get on it. I don't really feel safe, but I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. So this is the tarp I got. Uh, it looks really cool, because it literally looks like I'm in the trees. Our last objective is to put this on and then add our comfort level. Also, if you come around to this side, I don't want to be falling off, so I added some supports here, just for some style, some look. But yeah, here we go. Uh, we're just gonna drill this in. This is such a weird, like, material. Wait, what the? I what? thought somebody built a fort right here. Now I don't see anything. Peasant, welcome, Matt, on my tree. Are you talking smack about my floor, Matt? Yeah. What did you say? Home with a heart on the O? Dude, don't judge me. <laughs> Dude, look at it. It's so much better now. It kind of blends in. I just like mine better. Guys, it is complete. Uh, not a lot of headroom, but uh, we just got to put our comfy stuff in here and then uh, that's about it. Look out! No! You missed! That's it. Don't get closer. This is my tree. Ow! <laughs> hey Rob, I hope you got some Nerf guns. I don't have any Nerf guns. Because I bought a lot with my money. So now we're going to add the decoration to our forts. And then Ryan's going to take a tour. He's going to climb all the way up them. And he's gonna, he's gonna vote for which one's the best. I'm gonna see which one's the comfiest. All right, for comfy stuff, I have this fold mat I should have blue, and I've got a pillow. Rob, no one cares. People and only care about my Nerf guns. I'd like you're... you to meet Mustang and Sally. <laughs> You're imaginary, we have to pretend to play with them. I forgot battery, so pew pew, pew pew. Okay, so we're gonna be adding our coziness factor. So we got this fold -o mat This is my bed, so you know, you fold it up, and that should be quite nice and dandy. Got this pillow and a welcome mat. And of course, can't forget those Fleming hot fries. So before we put down the mat and the pillow, we have this rug. This is gonna be right on the entrance. That looks about centered right there. I'm tired of climbing up there, so. Yeah. Oh, that worked. Was perfect. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and as to any new home, you gotta take the shoes off before you enter. Are you done uh, decorating? Yeah, this is it. I feel so like with the pad, it makes it feel so secure. So I got this rug, I'm gonna go put it up there. I put all my Nerf guns up there. Come on guys, come visit Fort Chris. So we are up here. Check out my Nerf guns. So much room up here to be honest. So I'm gonna be uh, putting these weapons up for decoration and also to use for passerbys. In case we need to defend our tree fort. We can put our guns <laughs> on here like that. That's lit. This one has got to be secret, just so nobody can see it. Nice and uh, concealed. A few moments later. We have an intruder. Shh. Nani? Gosh dang it. Ow! <laughs> got him. I got some other stuff too. I thought I was going to build a bigger platform. It is now time to rate our fort, so Ryan is gonna take a tour, and then he's gonna vote. Remember, there's three categories. Comfortability, aesthetic, and whoever built it the highest. So obviously I get that one. So, so far I have one point, we'll see who wins. All right, Ryan, go take a tour. I'm gonna go to yours first, just to get it out of the way. <laughs> All right, he's heading up there. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna get the aesthetic because I got really cool guns in my fort. Ryan, what do you think? How comfortable is it? Uh, it's not very comfortable at all. I mean, you just put a rug over some hard wood. The aesthetic is pretty cool. There's like a lot of guns everywhere, like this one. So I think that's fun. And you do have nice views. That's true. All right, now I'm gonna go test out Rob's fort and determine who wins. Well, my first impressions are this rug. The rug is super nice. That's really nice. Chris, take a, take a feel. 
That's good. Oh my gosh. I got that at Home Depot. That's comfy. Dang. Now comes the bed. Holy cow. This is so comfortable. Bro, you look like a creeper over there. Just your head's popping up. I could sleep here, dude. Right? I could too. Okay, so you've, you've seen both forts. Uh, Rob's aesthetic is pretty cool. It's got some uh, camo action going on here. I do have a view. You do have a view. You got a nice railing and bed it's comfortable i think i think it's more comfortable than your fort dang it yeah sorry chris i have one point all right so this is all determined by the aesthetic point you know what i'm off to go with rob's yes because it's long enough you know it's got the nice rug where it's like really welcoming and this railing it's cool because you can like put stuff on it you know yeah. what that's it that is it no <laughs> no <laughs> Give it to me. Whoa, dude, you psycho. <laughs> if you guys want us to continue building on this tree and make this even bigger, give us 100,000 likes. We'll come back here and we'll add more to this. We're gonna leave it up for a little bit. We'll expand if you guys give us those likes. I also got this tablecloth and table and some chairs for my fort. It's kind of just for the bottom, you know, just to be more welcoming. Dude, it's so red. It is so red. Why is everything so red? Dude, I love red. Can we put this red saw on it? <laughs> The tablecloth, Ryan. Sorry, this backpack is actually a, a really nice survival backpack. It's actually got some really good stuff in here. You could survive literally for days on this stuff. I think this is all the food in here. Oh, you got a glow stick and some duct tape. Is this a whoopee cushion? No. Emergency drinking Dude, water. drink it, drink it. Tell me how it is. Water oh. in a bag. Is that some good water? Ew, do that. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes weird, dude. Try it. Try it, bro. That's weird. Why isn't it, it just, just regular water? It tastes weird. It doesn't taste like water. It tastes like water. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. Right, it tastes go. like plasticky water. It's really good. It tastes like water. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Do you want the rest of my emergency water? Uh-uh. Hey! Dude, oh. Oh, stop! No! <laughs> Is this food? Open it up! I wanna try it. How do you eat this? Dude, I hope it's just like vacuum sealed chocolate chip Ew. cookie dough. Dude. <laughs> what is that? How do you eat it? Like this? <coughs> Break me off a piece of that. Dude, that's good! Uh, no. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is yummy. That is good. You're like a treat. The apocalypse doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> can I build a tree fort? Ryan, you have one you can grab one thing that we didn't use to build your tree fort. Used everything. If I were you, I'd go with that comfortable uh, mattress set. Oh wow. It comes with pillows too. I think that was ten dollars, bro. Is that over my limit? No. No, you're good. I got it. Not our tree. What do you mean? You have to find your own tree. You both shared a tree. There's no more room. There's room. Where are you gonna go? Where are you going? Going to my fort. All right, I'll find another tree. <laughs> Ryan, if you can build it higher than my fort, then you get the highest point. Okay. Which mean would mean that you get zero points. Shoot. Use this as a platform. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Ryan, are you sure about that? Yeah. The only thing I'm not sure about is this cobbler. Dude, <laughs> what are you doing? You'll see. Dude, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, your, your fort is just slightly higher than mine. But it is higher. Well, it looks like Ryan took my point for being the tallest tree fort. That sucks. <laughs> and he did it with 10... Oh, there's a huge spot! <laughs> no, 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 no! No Kill joke, it. no joke. Shoot it! Shoot it with the gun! Oh. Where? It was on the comforter. No! Ah! 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 Dude, kick it! it. Ah! What do I do? What do I do? There he goes. You flicked him? I flicked him. Well, it looks like I'm in first place. Ryan is in second place somehow, and Chris is in third place. Well, we really hope you enjoyed today's video. Click right here for our previous video. Click right here for a video YouTube recommends specifically for you, and click right here to subscribe. Remember, if this video gets 100,000 likes, we'll turn this whole dang tree into a massive tree fort. Bye.